I wonder if there's like lies that become active in our imaginations. You know, you talked about this person with their, their almost accusing finger out. And um, whether someone said that or not, I think a lot of pastors feel that. Sure. And those feelings can be internalized. Um, and there is an accuser who would want to speak lies. Like you need to have it all together. If you, you know, if, if anyone finds out where your heart's at, you're done or whatever the lies are. Um, I wonder if it's kind of a weird exercise in a conversation like this, but if you could speak truth into the hearts of pastors right now, like what not, let's not spend any more time naming the lies. What is true right now that they need to hear that I need to hear? Okay. Um, well, you know how much I love the Christmas story. Mm -hmm. I've been waiting for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's been waiting for Christmas yeah. this year. Some so much that they started Advent three weeks early. <laughs> I know. It, I've never witnessed this in all the years of ministry that people are already decorating their houses. Our tree's up. <laughs> what uh, else do you do we got on the candles weekends? Up. I, I know. That's, that's true. But I think it's a longing yes. for... Um, the joy, the hope, mm. uh, it's par partly sentimentality yeah. and all that goes with it, but it's that longing for. So as I've been dwelling in the Christmas story again ahead of time, <laughs> um, the passage that I think is ministered to me the most is Isaiah 9. Mm. You know the text, For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Father of Eternity, Prince of Peace, mm. and then the next line, and the government will be on his shoulders. Mm. That's the word I'd want to speak. We do not carry the church on our shoulders. Wow. We do not carry the mission of the church on our shoulders. We do not carry the survival of our cities and the world on our shoulders. Now, I, I would imagine a lot of listeners identify with me. I, I do it. I take it on my shoulders. Mm -hmm. I, I'm the oldest of five sons. And if you're the oldest in the family, you're the one that's supposed to fix everything. If something yeah. goes wrong, it's your fault, and you've got to fix it. So I've grown up being a fixer all my life. Mm. And th that text in Isaiah 9 is free me. No, I'm not. I can't. Mm. Especially as, as we're witnessing just how, how profoundly broken we really are. <laughs> I can't fix it. I can't fix me. I can't fix anybody. But the government is on his shoulders. And for someone like me who wrestles with political things, that means all the more. Yeah. The, the future of nations does not rest on the, the names we name on hmm. CNN and Fox and CBC. It rests on Jesus of Nazareth, praise his name. Hmm. So that'd be one thing. Yeah. Um, the other thing to speak truth into would be the, the message that I'm going to that I love to preach at Christmas time is that four times an angel shows up and four times he says the same thing. Do not be afraid. Mm. One of the things that I teach in preaching is you, you, when you're preaching through a text, you want to look for the exhortations. What are the commands? Um, what, what, what are the affirmations? What is the good news? But yeah. then what is the command? Mm. Where's it going? Um, and uh, reading through the Christmas story, I'm struck this time, the only command in the Christmas story only command, as I can see it, is do not be afraid. Mm. And I think that's the message for us. Do not be afraid. He says, the angel says to Zachariah, your prayers have been heard. You and Elizabeth have been praying, about having kids for a long time. They've been heard. He says to Mary, don't worry. This whole talk about the virgin birth, yeah, it's off the charts, but nothing's impossible for God. And he says to Joseph, who's really getting jerked around by all this going on, you know, he's, he didn't sleep with Mary, and she's pregnant, and, and, the, and the angel says, do, do not be afraid. This strange thing is actually the work of the Holy Spirit. Mm. And then to the shepherds, the good news that a new king, a new Lord, a new Savior, the new fixer mm -hmm. um, has been born into the world, wow. and you can rejoice. So that's what I'd want to say. The government is on the shoulders of mm. Jesus Christ, and he says, do not be afraid. <laughs> 